In this video, I show you how to run APK files on Windows. If you find this guide useful, please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please consider leaving a like and let's get right into this guide. Here I have an APK file, which I want to go and run on my Windows computer. So let's do this. The first thing you need to do is head into the description of this video or the comments and go and click on a link labeled Bluestacks. And you may be wondering what Bluestacks is, well, you'll be taken to the website, which looks just like this. BlueStacks is essentially an Android emulator, and what that means is you can have an Android device on your computer, and we can go and use our mouse and keyboard to use it, and we can go and use BlueStacks to go and run and install APK files, so let's get into this. I personally like to use BlueStacks 5, so go and tap on download BlueStacks 5 like so, and then the installer is going to go and download, and it's not going to take long at all, it's very small, and you can then go and close off your web browser. Then what you need to do is go and find the installer. You can go and find it in your file explorer in your downloads folder. So here we are in my downloads and here is the installer. So all you need to do is go and double click on it like so. And you're going to go and get a Windows Cootie pop-up, which we'll need to agree to. Then Bluestack should pop up. And what you need to do is go and tap on install. Bluestack is then going to go and start downloading. And after it's downloaded, it's going to go and install itself. And after it's finished installing, it should automatically launch. And it should look something like this. If it doesn't automatically launch, you can always go and search your computer for it and then go and run it. And here we are on BlueStacks. And as you can see, I've got quite a few apps because I've gone and used it before. But now what we need to do is go and run the APK file. So to do that, what you need to do is go over to the right hand side and you need to go onto this option here, which is install APK. It's this sort of icon here. You can always go and press control shift plus B. When I tap here, my file explorer is then gonna go and open. And now what I'm going to do is go and find the APK. Mine is on my desktop and here it is. So I'm now gonna go and tap on it like that and then go and press open. And as you can see, it now says installing app here. Just wait for this to go and finish. Uh, and once it's finished, it's probably gonna appear on a different page for me because as you can see, this app page is currently full. And there we go, it just went and installed and it took me to the next page. And I can just literally use my mouse to swipe across and then I can go and open it up and go and use it. It's that easy. And to get back to your home page, all you need to do is press on the home button in the top left or the bottom right, and you'll be taken here. And if you're experiencing any lag with BlueStacks, then all you need to do is go to the bottom right um, and go and tap on the settings cog, just like so. And then what you'll need to do is come into performance. And then what you can do is go and increase your CPU allocation and your memory allocation and change the performance mode. Just ensure you go and increase your CPU allocation and your memory allocation relative to your computer. I don't like to use more than half of my uh, CPU cores or RAM on BlueStacks. So yeah, if you've got eight gigabytes of uh, memory on your computer, I wouldn't use more than four. And you can apply that to the processor as well. 